Under current Kentucky law, the assault rifle that was used to murder five of our neighbors and shoot at rescuing police officers will one day be auctioned off. Think about that. That murder weapon will be back on the streets one day under Kentucky's current law. That was Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg at a press conference this afternoon talking about the AR-15 assault rifle that the gunman in Louisville had legally purchased just a week ago, a weapon the gunman used yesterday to kill five people and wound eight more at a Louisville bank. The mayor's office is going to make sure that the firing pin is removed from that weapon before it's handed over to the state, which will make the weapon temporarily inoperable. But that is all the state law allows it to do. The gun has to be handed over to the state and it has to be auctioned off unless state legislators change the law, which means that another AR-15 will be back on the streets. Tonight, authorities in Louisville released body cam footage from yesterday's shooting that shows just how quickly the police were able to get to the scene and kill the shooter. There were three minutes between when the shooting started and when the police were called. There were then three more minutes between that call and when police got to the scene. And three minutes after that, the police had taken out the shooter. So it was an incredibly fast and brave response. But again, in just those nine minutes, the shooter had killed five people and wounded eight more. Now, there is surely going to be a lot of talk about this shooter's motive and mental state, but I think the mayor is right to be focused on the gun here, this type of gun in particular, which is the AR-15. If you remember just two weeks back, the shooter at the Nashville Covenant School also used an AR-15. They killed six people, three kids and three adults, in less than 15 minutes. The Club Q shooting that killed five people last year, also an AR-15. The Highland Park parade shooting last year on the 4th of July, that was an AR-15-style weapon. Uvalde, an AR-15. Buffalo, an AR-15. Of the 10 deadliest mass shootings since 2012, six of them used AR-15-style weapons. And even if they were not using the specific gun, all 10 of the deadliest mass shootings since 2012 used semi-automatic weapons with what are no now known as large capacity magazines. They're probably what you think of when you think of an AR-15, the giant curved part coming out of the bottom that holds the bullets. In the Vietnam War, U.S. soldiers used magazines with 20 bullets in the war. Today, the AR-15 and other semi-automatic weapons are regularly sold to civilians with at least 30 bullet magazines. You can buy magazines that hold 100 bu bullets for about 100 bucks. Now, when Congress passed the federal assault weapons ban in 1994, it also prohibited magazines with more than 10 rounds. But that law is no longer in place. Now, the mayor of Louisville is focusing on this one specific AR-15 and this one Kentucky law because that is a law he thinks he might be able to influence the state legislature to change. But nationally, it is just as obvious that we need to start regulating AR-15s and high-capacity magazines overall. And those should be political slam dunks. 63% of American adults favor banning assault-style weapons altogether. And 64% of American adults favor banning high-capacity magazines. So how are we still here? How have Republicans prevented any serious movement on gun control when common-sense gun control is so popular? And why are we still here? Why specifically are Republicans still here?